I had a question about liposomal vitamins. So let's just talk about exactly what it is and the pros and cons. Pros, it can greatly increase your absorption by a factor of four to nine times. Now, liposomal vitamins are vitamins that are packaged in these tiny little nano size liposomes. Now, liposomes is this spherical or round sac of a phospholipid molecule enclosing something like a vitamin. They can also do it with drugs as well. And the purpose is to carry it deeper inside the body. There are three different sizes of this liposome. The larger size, which is like 500 to 5,000, the medium size, which should be 200 to 800, and the real small size, which should be 20 to 150, which is the highest quality. So the smaller size, the higher quality. And if you're gonna do liposomal vitamins, I would make sure it's verified by a lab using laser dynamic light scattering technique, okay? Because if you don't have it certified, chances are you're not getting the most quality uh, particle size. You're gonna get larger size particles, which are lower quality, and they're not gonna absorb nearly as much. Now the con is that if you're getting the higher quality one, it's very expensive. That's one drawback. Second drawback is that your own macrophages, which are immune cells that eat different things, they tend to break down these, they tend to compete so they can dismantle some of this nutrient. But I think the biggest con is that a lot of times companies use synthetic vitamins. So here you are, you have this amazing delivery system to drive in nutrition, but what are you driving in the body? A synthetic vitamin, especially when you see the liposomal vitamin C that is using ascorbic acid, which is usually from GMO corn, and even if it does have the L attached to it, which is the natural version of ascorbic acid, you're still just getting one little tiny part of the vitamin C complex. You're not getting the whole complex. You're getting one little piece of this whole very complex structure. And a lot of times they'll use it for the B vitamins, which again, um, they're mostly synthetic. So you'd want to make sure that they're not synthetic. And so you would want to call the company and ask for the source material. What do they make it out of? And then you might say, well, it's just natural. Well, you want to know what is the source. And they, they won't be able to tell you if it's synthetic. A lot of times they'll use B12, which again is synthetic. And then vitamin E, it might be natural. Uh, so if it is natural or they're using a turmeric, for example, like an herb, uh, that would be fine. But anytime you're using synthetic vitamins or fractionated parts of a vitamin complex, even if it's natural, um, I personally don't recommend it. All right, hope that clarified what it is. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.